Hey guys, good morning. What a beautiful week. It is Monday morning and I'm just getting ready to go and look out. okay because I've cleaned the kitchen this morning I've watered my plants with the m m water that was blessed under the full moon we had last week which I'm so grateful for um, I'm just gonna redo my hair it's currently very bed hairy normally I wouldn't mind but when I'm mucking out all these little bits get in my face and they just kind of get in the way so yeah and uh, I'm dressed I'm ready to go so I'm gonna do a full yoga class today um, but I'm going to do one for when you're not feeling your best physically because I'm a bit coldy and over the weekend um, my tummy was really off, like really, really off. Um, but I've been high dosing vitamin C and that's really helped. So last night I didn't feel great but I had three, yesterday I had three um, doses of vitamin C. So I had about 12 grams um, and I've just had another three grams this morning. And honestly, it helps so much, like, you know, it really helps. And I woke up this morning and my th first thought was, wow, I thought I was going to feel a lot worse than this. So I'm very grateful for my body and everything it does for me every day and for my health. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just going to flip the viewfinder up right now. I'm just having a little snuggle with this guy. Hello. Um, I just thought I'd pick up the camera. Um... There's not much going on. I feel like I'm always watching Hannah Duggan in these videos. I do watch other YouTubers too. So I'm making Sam some lunch for tomorrow. And if he doesn't go to work, which he might not because he's feeling unwell too, uh, then he will just have them at home. So they are Vigalantes from Morrison's. Tough times don't last, tough people do. Nourishment for body and soul. These are plant protein tandoori chicken tikka and I smelt them and they smelt really good. Anyway, they're just in the oven cooking, they're like little pieces, they look like chicken. Um, and I'm going to do them in these flatbreads. I'm going to make a mint yoghurt. I harvested some lettuce. It just needs a wash because it's kind of muddy. Okie dokie, artichokey, pig and pokey. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is chop up a little bit of onion. We don't need too much though, so. Wow, this is not the knife for the job. <laughs> you only just can't be bothered. I'm just not feeling great today, so everything, but I feel like in trying to make it easier for myself, I'm actually making everything a bit harder. Hmm, let's just try one of these. Mmm, they are good. Wow, they're good. Mmm, the taste is really authentic actually, the tikka taste, and they've got a lot of nice spices on there. Mmm, but I'm going in with the mint yogurt. I actually ended up using the blender because the chunks of mint were just too big. So just blended together yogurt and mint and I put a little tiny bit of salt in there. So let's get all that sorted. Some salad, so a little bit of onion. Then I'm going to go on there with a little bit of lettuce. I'm just going to break these up. And place them on the wrap. To be honest, I can actually cut them with this. So the texture is kind of weird a little bit, but they taste really good. Flavors are spot on there. Hey guys, so I'm actually just uh, editing this video, but literally cue me eating all the bloody vegan chicken that was meant for Sam's wrap. Like, just do this all the time. I'm like, oh, just have a bit of that. Just a little bit of that. Stop it, Emily. Stop it. <laughs> I'm 
Then we're going to top it off with some sriracha mayo. This one is vegan. If you haven't noticed, this is all vegan. Sam is vegan. I am transitioning to veganism in my own time. In case you're wondering. Okay. So. I'm going to fold that in. And then we're going to roll it on over there. Tuck it in and roll it over. Wow, that was more successful than I thought it was going to be. That's amazing. I'm just going to cut that in half. Wow, that looks so good. Mm. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to open that up. Like that. I'm going to put some of this mint sauce, mint yogurt, in there. <laughs> That's really funny. It's kind of dripping everywhere. Okie dokie. And close it up while wow, that's dripping <laughs> okay and i'm going to take it to sam good morning guys it is saturday morning and what time is it let's have a look 10 30 actually exactly 10 30 um so i've left sam in bed this morning he is really really tired um but i've been awake since about half eight charlie woke me up this morning and he's now back in bed <laughs> that's okay um i've done some gratitude journaling i've listened to gratitude affirmations on youtube i've listened to my new heinz video which was all about mindful practices to keep you focused so i really took some great tips from that and now i'm just about to indulge in some miso soup so I've got this new miso soup powder paste, it's this one here. Um, that is like a healing hug in a bowl. Oh, I'm so grateful. Mm. hi guys it is saturday evening it's saturday evening me and sam have been out and about today we went to skipton um for, the, for a couple of hours we went round skipton and there's a fully vegan um cafe in skipton and it's got a zero waste shop attached to it and we'd never seen it before so we we're like oh we'll, we'll you know we'll pop in there and see what it's about anyway it was lovely it was really nice and the people in there are lovely and I picked up some fresh turmeric. Um, so that was lovely. And we had like smoky beans on toast, which was really nice. And I had a chai latte with pea milk, interestingly. So I didn't love the pea milk, but I have a thing with peas. Just don't like them. Mushy peas, I'm all over it. But normal peas, not my vibe. Anyway, <laughs> I have got raspberry dark chocolate vegan brownie batter about to go in the oven. And then I am making onion bhaji. So I've got these cooking. And then this is ground flour, currently garlic, onion and coriander, but we've got a lot more onions going in there. And then I'm just basically going to freestyle it um, to see where it goes. But yeah, I'm just uh, going to parchment paper it up, put them into there, do a bit of that. I'm watching some Louise Pentland. I'm just gonna put the um, brownie mix into the, uh, uh, I literally can't talk. So I've grease proofed it. I really did it like mathematically, which is really not like me. Normally I'm just like, go with the flow with it. Today I decided to put the effort in because you know what? I deserve to put the effort in for my brownies. They deserve the very best. Brownie is going in the oven. I honestly feel really tired tonight. OMG, we've got the onion bhajis in. Oh, they're looking so good. I think this one 
certainly this one at least is going to be ready to flip oh my god look at that <gasps> amazing emily wow i love that so i give the others a little bit more time maybe i'll flip this one hmm trying to vlog and flip at the same time is not as easy as you think huh how do the vloggers do it honestly i just had the fantastic idea of doing that on my own getting that out with no utensils so i burnt my hand and broke the brownie but you know what it looks bloody banging oh god we're not having much luck are we hi guys how is it going um i vlogged for a couple of days on saturday i edited a video um but what i've decided is that we've got wi-fi coming we've not had wi-fi since we moved into this house um through choice actually and we don't have any phone signal so what we do is we put the phone on the window ledge in the conservatory and that gives us enough signal to hotspot to my laptop and i have unlimited data so that's what's how well i don't have any clothes i do have clothes and i have pajama bottoms on but i think i'd rather keep my tits out of the vlog anyway I've just done a yoga, which was a Halloween uh, Samhan yoga, which I'm gonna pronounce that wrong, but the pagan celebration of Halloween, which is the pagan new year. So I got kind of a little bit into that this year. And that Halloween, that yoga was so good. It was a lot of hip openers and everybody's probably heard of sun salutations. Well, this one included moon salutations, which I loved. So anyway, um, i am now going to make a stew and i'm also making vegan dumplings today too so in the stew we're gonna have leeks pepper onions a couple of onions some fresh turmeric i'm also gonna get some fresh ginger as well some garlic an aubergine broccoli celery this is definitely needs washing um carrots so I make a bit of a sofrito tomatoes and i think that's everything we'll see we'll see how oh and potatoes that's the other thing that i'm gonna put in there some potatoes and we're gonna have it with dumplings and it's gonna be incredible so i'm basically gonna start making that now i actually forgot to mention that i'm making bread right now uh -huh, my nip was in that bit it's having its second prove right now so i'm gonna leave that to do its thing um <laughs> just in case my boobs were in that shot i did try and show my second proof of my bread but if it's if my boobies are in the shot then yeah anyway i feel really good i'm still in post yoga bliss but to be honest i felt good all day the only time i didn't feel good today was the 30 seconds after I woke up. I was so sleepy and it took me a while to transition from dream mode. And I was like, mm, don't want to get up. And then anyway, I got up and I was like, I'm going to take on the day. It's going to be incredible. And you know what? If it has, it's been incredible. So yeah, I had a nice little trip to Aldi today, which is always very nice. Got some vegan mayo, which I can, I love getting plain mayo, well in this case vegan mayo, because well, it's only 99p from Aldi, which I think is great. But also, it's a good base for anything, so if you want a chipotle mayo, well you just add chipotle paste to the mayo. If you want peri peri mayo, just add peri peri sauce to the mayo. You know, there's so many different varieties you can do. Hey guys, I just want to quickly um, jump on. I'm making my stew. I'm also watching Ellen Fisher. Um, she's she has a podcast now and I've loved all the episodes they're amazing and this one is particularly interesting it's over two hours long so I won't watch it all now but it's called vegan versus animal foods opposing perspectives with Corinne Mil Malloy who happens to be her friend that lives on the island Maui with her and they're really good friends and they just talk in a respectful discussion way because Ellen eats her whole plant based diet and is like a vegan animal activist kind of and then Corey act, um, promotes a meat eating diet so it's really interesting I'm really excited to get into this one because you know to look at just one side of the argument and then just take that on as your truth is not always the right thing to do you should look at both sides and see what resonates or even if you're so sure for example 
that you want to eat meat and you're pro eat meat for the rest of your life or pro vegan for the rest of your life and you're at you're you know passionate about that then that's okay and that's great but you should know the other side of it you know you should know and open your mind to other explanations other truths other possibilities but anyway on another note this olive oil got it from tesco on club card four pound fifty it is fantastic and i just want to say i can feel it in my heart and my tummy i am so grateful so grateful for all of this abundance in my life i'm just i was feeling so grateful for it <sighs> The oil, the onions that I'm cooking up. Oh wait, that's just oil. The onions are here. One sec, let me show you. So I've just chopped my onions so far. Charlie's got loads of chicken cooked. Um, I harvested from fresh parsley from my conservatory. And yeah, over here is the rest of my stuff. And I like to chop sitting down watching something. This cushion here is a cushion that my Aunt Emily gave me. I really love it. It's going to go upstairs eventually. But right now, it's keeping my bum really comfortable <laughs> so anyway just thought i'd have that little chat say i'm grateful so today i got these um from aldi fishless fingers um and i'm basically i told sam to message me when he was on his way home from work so that i can bang him in a snack hey guys um it's sunday morning how's everybody feeling I'm feeling really good. Um, it's about 20 past eight this morning. I actually um, chose to get up because my mind was racing this morning. It really was. Um, not often that this happens, but this morning, I just think that that means that I've not taken enough time to slow down and slow down my mind. So, I'm going to do plenty of that today. But first things first, in the mornings now, I have my um, probiotics. So, this is called Simprove and it's uh, I've only just started it last week. And then... drink it um, um yeah that's it so i just have this 10 minutes before i have drink eat or drink anything else so that it gets into my tummy now i'm going to very slowly make coffees so that by the time mine's made and i've gone upstairs it's been 10 minutes <laughs> love that yeah so I'm already starting to feel better for just getting up and out of bed. My mind was just completely not in alignment this morning. That's okay though. It's okay. Something's just coming up. I think it's all right. It's all good. Hi guys. <laughs> this is here's Charlie. Hey Charlie. Say hello. Why do you look grumpy? Look at his face, babe. He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Hi guys. So we're going to um, we're going on a walk today. We're gonna walk from um, either Burnsall to Grassington or Grassington to Burnsall and then back. And it's about how, six miles, is it? Just something that we're doing. And yeah, so we're just driving there now. I'm really excited. We've not done a walk like this together really ever. And we both like walking, so we're like, we need to do it really. Some bikers now. So I'm just gonna show you the views because they are so good. Is it? Oh, nice. So nice. Get past these cyclists and then uh, I'm just going to turn the music off a sec. Wow.
and we've got some tofu wraps. We marinated the tofu the other day in some soy, honey, sriracha kind of thing and it's really lovely. So we've got it in a wrap with some lettuce, mayo, sriracha mayo, tomato and we've brought a flask with us. Sam's just demonstrating the flask now. <laughs> and Charlie's had some chicken so he's been catered for, for he two. He didn't want his veggies though. We brought carrots and peas with the chicken and he didn't eat it. Okay. Oat milk. Cappuccino. Just feeling very happy, chilled, and yeah, we're gonna head back soon. So, guys, we did it. <laughs> the lighting is so bad. We walked Grassington, and now we're back in Burnsall, and it feels really good. I'm sweaty though. Very sweaty, but I didn't feel cold, and that's the main thing because it's chilly, even though the sun's out. So just, it's just stripping off now, <laughs> and I'm gonna take my boots off. I think. Be super duper comfy in the car. <sighs> that was so nice. Just what the doctor ordered. 